Michael, we talked about in previous video in terms of applying for jobs and customizing the resumes. In your research or in your, uh, when you are as a career coach, is there anything specific in terms of customizing resumes and why it's important to customize and the application tracking system that we talked about? Yeah, yeah. First and foremost, you want to customize your, your resume. Have a great base resume. Mm -hmm. Have a professional do it. Uh, there are certain things that you need to have and certain things that you shouldn't have. Uh, the common, some say have a picture, most say don't have a picture. Yeah. So, so because uh, that will affect and certain things will affect the applicant tracking system. So you want to have words and phrases that match the job without, you know, of course, you don't want to say things that are dishonest, but you want to make sure that you match and you get passed through the applicant tracking system, which is, yes. of course, phase one. Uh, the other is have it professionally organized where they see the highlights of what you do, easy for them to see where to contact you, your email, make sure you have your LinkedIn profile. Yeah. Uh, the other thing I, I would just say, which is important, just make sure as a side note that your all your social media is what would look good to someone who would hire you. If yeah. you have crap in your social media, and this I'm not dictating to anyone that they shouldn't speak their mind, yeah. but if you speak their mind, is your mind and and a future employer is going to look at that and it's not their mind mm -hmm. and it's something that is is kind of way out there you have to just recognize you, you have a decision to make yeah. is what i'm saying you yeah. have a right to put whatever you want on social media but just understand it's not just your friends looking at it it's a prospective employer yeah. so you have to ask yourself if a prospective employer looked at this would it help me get a job or would it negatively impact my ability to get a job. So back to the resume. The resume, you wanna make sure that you uh, match keywords and phrases so you pass yes. through the applicant tracking system. Uh, you want it to be clear, concise, compelling. The other thing I learned with this book and interviewing the top hiring managers and recruiters from across America is you wanna have, if you're new to the, to the workforce, one page. If you're experienced and you're a mid-level or senior level, uh, uh, professional, yeah. uh, you want it to be two pages, okay. no more than two yeah. and, and no less. Of course, you can't be less than one. Mm -hmm. uh, as far as the cover letter, uh, remember the cover letter is the hook. So yeah. some like cover letters, some don't. Mm -hmm. uh, so if you have a cover letter, uh, this is what I would recommend. Uh, and this is from all my professional experience and these interviews. Uh, again, clear, concise, compelling. There's something called AIDCC attention, interest, desire, conviction, close. You want to first get their attention. So the first line can't, has to be a hook, has to get their attention. And, and it should tie into, remember, make it relatable to the specific Good job. job. No general, you know, I really like uh, to work in this field. No, yeah. the more specific you are, the better. So you want to hook them. Uh, you want the first line should be no more than this. One line to hook them, a paragraph space, the next should be two to three lines. Yes. Paragraph space. And the last line is a close. Yeah. I really look forward to scheduling an interview with you. Uh, please let me know uh, a time next week if that would work. So that's the close. So it's the opening, get their attention, gain their interest. The next is the meat of it. That's uh, what the key points of what you do and how it relates to what they're yeah. looking for. That's the hook. And, and that's what creates desire and conviction that you've done, had experience doing this and got results. And the last line is to close uh, for the appointment. Yeah. And by the way, just to, to finish with this, I don't yeah. know if you were going to ask this, Mayor, when you're done the interview, you always want to ask the question, would it be okay if I follow up in yeah. uh, a week or two days or three days? Mm -hmm. Or what would you recommend following Another up? Next steps. You want to show initiative about following yeah. the next, exactly the next step. I would say the cover letter is kind of selling yourself, you know, showing your accomplishment, what you can bring to the table and what you're adding value to the company. And your, and because the job exists because they have a problem and they want to solve it. And you're here as problem solver to the company. Yeah. And I, the only thing I, I, I would really say that's critical as, and I used to make this mistake all the time. There's so much that an experienced or even someone with moderate experience can say but it doesn't matter how good your information is if no one reads it. Yeah. You can offer, you can give them a two page cover letter that says you'll work for free, 
but they're never going to read that in the third paragraph or fourth paragraph. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter how many accomplishments you have. If you put it in three paragraphs or two paragraphs, or it's too long, they're going to look at this with the thousand other uh, mm -hmm. resumes they got and a thousand other cover letters they got, and mm -hmm. they're going to blow right by it. It has to be space. Here's kind of the rule of thumb that I tell my clients. When they open it up, they have to be, be able to see your signature line. Yeah. And it can't be text dense, which means there has to be white space. So it's one line, space. So there's white space, yeah. three lines, two or three lines, space, the close. That's yeah. it. That's the it. hardest thing to do is to keep it short and say everything you need to say. Clear, concise, and compelling. Those are the three words you need to focus on. Those are great tips, Michael. I really encourage the speak, uh, the audience watching or listening to implement in their uh, cover letter in this year, 2022. And if you have any other tips in terms of cover letters or resumes, please leave them below and tune in tomorrow for another great question with Michael.